Hello everyone, once again welcome back to my iTech of YouTube channel. Today in this full video we will see how to fix ask to buy isn't working on iPhone. So lot of iPhone and iPad users has been reported that how to fix ask to buy isn't working on iPhone. So please don't skip the video and watch till the end. If you still haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and turn on all notifications. Now let's get started. To fix ask to buy isn't working on iPhone, first of all you have to check family sharing settings. So first of all go to settings app on your iPhone, then here tap on your Apple ID. Next here tap on family sharing option. Now here choose family member. Then here tap ask to buy. And make sure toggle on require purchase approval. So this is the first solution. Next I will tell you second solution. So the second is content might not be available when an Apple device has the ask to buy enabled. Kids will be restricted from purchasing the following. Content offered by educational institutions. Content from iTunes Match, iTunes Gifts and Donations. So this is the reason why your ask to buy isn't working on your iPhone. So please check this out. Next solution is verify your Apple ID. If you are wondering why ask to buy isn't working on your iPhone, it might be because of you are using a different ID on your kids or your Apple device. Please ensure that you have used the same Apple ID across services such as App Store, Apple ID, Apple Books, Apple Music App and Apple TV. Now fourth solution is ensure that you have a supported device. Despite ensuring all apps and services use the same Apple ID, you may still not get asked to buy notifications on your iPhone or Mac. The mainly reason is that your child is using an unsupported device. In order to use the ask to buy feature, your child should be using the following iPhone and iPad running iOS 8 or later, Mac running OS X your might or later. Next solution is change the approval for ask to buy. So first of all go to settings app, then go to your Apple ID and family sharing. Then you have to select choose family. Next select the family member's name and tap parent or guardian. Now tap set as parent or guardian. Next solution is to restart all your device. So first of all go to settings, then tap general, next here tap on shutdown and slide to power off your iPhone. Then enter your passcode, that's all. Next solution is update software on your device. To update software on your iPhone, first of all go to settings, then here tap on general, then here tap on software update. If update is available, then update to the latest software. Next solution is sign out of Apple ID and again sign in. First of all go to settings, then here tap on Apple ID. So here you will see sign out option. Tap on it to sign out your Apple ID from your device. And after successfully sign out, sign in again to your Apple ID. Okay, that's all. Now the last solution is factory reset your iPhone and iPad. To factory reset your device, first of all go to settings, then here tap on general option. Here scrolling down and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Next tap on erase all content and settings. Then here tap on continue and follow the next steps. So that's how you can factory reset your iPhone or iPad. And also that's how you can fix ask to buy isn't working on your iPhone or iPad. So hopefully this video is helpful for you all. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video.